What's going on guys, Matt Wasik here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you how you can basically create your very first assets online to start producing revenue for your business, either in the form of affiliate paper call commissions or selling leads to businesses or ranking and renting the asset to that business in exchange for a monthly retainer. This, as you can tell here, we are in the back end of a YouTube channel that I have, and this is one that I use for examples and also for the affiliate site that we are doing here on the channel as well. If you haven't checked out those videos, I will link to it up above here in a card or down below in a description. And so what we're doing to basically get rankings like this one right here for Pilot Point Texas Water Damage Restoration, and I know now that this is going to be on YouTube, there will probably be a bunch of people gunning for these spots, but I, I knew that going into it. Same with this one here for Minnetonka Sprinkler Below, as you can see, local biz reviews. And check out the date on that september 26 2016 right below the ads and it's in the second spot now again this is not a massively competitive search it doesn't get hundreds and hundreds of every single month but there are two massive reasons to why i really like doing this method because because one, you can obviously start getting your first affiliate commissions with doing these videos because when they're ranking at the top and they stick there and you have a couple hundred videos up in ranking, you can then start to actually earn a decent amount of money over a period of time. Obviously, there's a little bit of legwork that has to go into creating these videos, which I'll show you here in a second. But the other reason for this is that when you have a prospective client with your agency, you can basically say, hey, if you check out Minnetonka Sprinkler Blowout and you'll see that our video is ranking right here and it's been up there for almost two years now, that's going to basically tell that prospective client who's probably somewhat skeptical or something that, hey, okay, these guys actually know their shit. They can get stuff at the top of Google if it is SEO that you're trying to sell to them. And it basically makes the process of that a lot easier. You can even offer to do this for someone because with, the, with this method, it basically costs nothing to do. I mean, we're talking less than like 15 bucks. You can basically get a video ranking and show them that, hey, okay, we got this result for you for free. And of course you want to be upfront with your prospective client by saying, hey, yeah, this will probably get a couple leads per year, depending on what their business is and how how much they make per each one of their clients. For example, with this Minnetonka Sprinkler Blowout, this is on average a $50 to $100 sale. But in the months of September and October and very early November, this search right here will absolutely go crazy because people need to get their irrigation systems blown out. So this one actually has gotten a decent amount of traffic for this company. And this might look a little familiar. If you saw my last video where I basically ripped apart a client's website and showed them and showed you what was all wrong with it and what we were going to be improving on it. This is when I did this video for them back in September, 2016, damn near two years ago. I didn't know shit about selling marketing services at that point in time. I was literally just trying to say, hey, we'll get you a first page ranking on Google without creating any type of value proposition or structuring any type of offer to put my company in a position of authority where we essentially have access to traffic that's over here and their company is over here where we would essentially build a bridge from these people crossing over the Grand Canyon to the other side where their business is and get these people to them and they can find them and then they can make a bunch more money. And that's a great way to explain to your prospective clients how your business works and how it benefits their company. However, I did not know that. It took me a long time to figure that out. So, and in this video, I just saved you probably between nine and 12 months of incredible pain that I had faced in my life trying to get clients but having no fucking idea how to actually sell to them. Hopefully that right there will be worth several thousand dollars per month to you. So anyways, as you can see other rankings here, this is just something to use for proof that, hey, we can we walk the walk and we talk the talk. As you can see right here for the town of Holly, Minnesota, which is just outside of Fargo, mold removal and water damage repair. I have both of these top listings and this isn't to be bragging, hey, I'm the greatest SEO in the world. I'm sure a bunch of people are now going to be starting to rank shit for these searches. However, these are up over a year ago, almost 15 months ago now as we are at the end of July. Same thing here for this one, Detroit Lakes Water Damage Repair, showing up on the second page. So not every single one of these is going to stick on the first page. However, it only takes a couple of these to earn 50 to $100 for an affiliate commission or selling the lead to a business. Or if you are using this as client proof, if they see that the proof is in the pudding, so to speak, then they'll sign on board with you. And there you go, you have a thousand to $2,000 per month client that is paying you to do SEO or running paid traffic for them or whatever it is that they want you to do. It's something that's very powerful, so use it. Right away, what you're going to need is some form of wirecasting software. The one I have right now is called Wirecast Play. I paid 10 bucks for it back in 2016. And if you go to telestream.net slash control slash wirecast play, as you can see here on the URL here, just go to that one, you can get it for free. I think there will be a watermark on it. However, they will probably upsell you to get to the 
10 or $20. I'm not sure the exact cost on it now. They do have their crazy in-depth one for production and all kinds of other stuff for like 700 bucks. That is not needed. There are other softwares out there, but for this video, I'm gonna show you what I use because this was what works great for me and for what I'm doing. So what we're gonna be doing is making sure that you are logged in to the YouTube channel. You're going to need to do the legwork for getting the channel set up for live streaming. It usually takes like 24 hours for YouTube to approve it and then boom, you are ready and good to go. So I've identified a relatively long tail keyword that I'm pretty positive that we'll be able to rank somewhere near the very top of the first page, if not at the very top, when we do a Wirecast video. So we're gonna do a video for Whitesboro, Texas water damage restoration. So come over here to the live dashboard and you change the title to Whitesboro, Texas. So next we're gonna change up this, instead of pilot point, we're gonna say Whitesboro. Then what you also will want to do is throw the keyword around down here a couple times. So Whitesboro, Texas, we're just gonna change that out. So water damage restoration, Whitesboro. So now that we have this set up, you want to put a thumbnail in. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. It could actually just be a thumbnail that YouTube generates from the video that we're going to be putting to use in this. But like anything on YouTube that catches your eye, same thing for the search results you want. It's to be something that streams out to someone and makes it so that they will be enticed to click on it. So now we'll open up Wirecast and what you're going to need to do is right away go to output and then output settings. And as it loads up here, click authenticate. And then you're going to want to sign in to your YouTube account. And so as it loads up and does what it needs to do, you're going to hopefully see the title that you have for your live stream here in this section. And then what I do is for the encoding, I will set it to 720. And you wanna make sure that it's set up for the live event that we are going to be doing. Live event, yeah, good joke. <laughs> However, then, but anyway, click OK and it is good to go. And so for the actual content of the video that you're going to be doing, there are two methods you can go about it. There is the paid method, which will probably cost like five or 10 bucks to get an animated lead generation video created. You can go to Legit and get them. You can go to Fiverr and get them. I got mine from, I believe it was Conquer at the time. However, now I use Legit. Works really good. They're kind of corny. I've mentioned them in other videos and I'm not gonna play with the sound, but as you can tell, it is just a lead generation video. Very, very generic but it gets the job done. And what you could also do is create an just ungodly, <laughs> ugly video like I did. No wonder I couldn't convince anyone because they probably saw these videos and it was just complete trash, as you can see right here on the screen. It was literally just using Keynote and then Camtasia, and I believe I added music from YouTube's library to this, some just really super generic like elevator music to it and it just goes through this really just awful, awful quality video. And there's actually a picture from my portfolio for my landscape business. But anyway, that's not what you're here to see. It is something just really ugly, really, really, really ugly. And it still obviously ranks. And oddly enough, this one got a decent amount of views. Not bad. And so if you choose to use this shitty keynote presentation, by all means, more power to you. If you want to invest a little bit of money into it, go buy a niche specific video template from someone on Fiverr or Legit or any of the other freelancing sites. It will save you a lot of time from having to create videos constantly. So what you're gonna wanna do after you have the file purchased and they've sent it to you and you have it saved on your computer, in Wirecast Play, you're going to grab the file, drag and drop it into this little panel right here. And there it's going to be right there. So what you're gonna do next in order to get the live stream up and running is you will make sure none of these are clicked. And obviously the camera's blocked here because I have the Logitech over top of the crappy webcam that's on my iMac. But you can see the button here for stream. Click stream, boom, you are now live. Then you click record and then tap this piece of content right here for your video. If this is your slideshow video, that'd be right there. Or if it's your video that you purchased, it'd be right there. So this is gonna run for a minute. Once this video is done recording, I will show you how to turn off the stream and then what to do next. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is click record. You can go to blank shot, click record, and that will turn it off. And then you'll click stream, turns it also off. You can basically quit out of Wireclass Play and click don't save. And then at this point in time, it is now basically archiving it into your video manager. It's gonna take probably few minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes or so for it to do that work. So this will probably take about 20 to 30 minutes to do the processing and then we'll go in, we will actually go and trim it. If we can do it right now, we'll see if we can, no we cannot. But we can't allow it for embedding because 
here's a little bonus with this method is that when I create a page on the North Texas water damage restoration site for Whitesboro, Texas water damage restoration, which is a city in Northern Texas, I will embed this video onto that page. And rather than having to embed someone else's YouTube video, you are able to take your own brand's video and put it on there. Obviously it is a very generic lead generation video, but it still will show to Google that, hey, this video is relevant to this topic. It will help you with ranking. Okay, so as you can see, the video is still processing right now. We're gonna go over here to Whitesboro, Texas Water Damage Restoration, and we will click search for that. And there it is showing up right there for five minutes ago. Well, let's, let's go to a private browser window and see what happens. Let's pull up in incognito mode for Chrome because that's probably one of the most popular browsers I feel right now. So we'll do Whitesboro text water. And of course I can't spell and I'm typing fast, but there we go, six minutes ago and it's ranking right there. So that is pretty freaking cool. Within five, less than 10 minutes, I have no idea why this Eminem song is right here, but it's ranking at the first page. If you're watching this probably six months from now, it might not even be here, but at this very point in time, it is here. Here is a really quick disclaimer because I believe in being transparent and upfront. If you are watching this six months or a year from now, this video may not be ranking right here at this very point in time. The SERPs do change quite a bit, but it is a lot less volatile if you're doing it with a website. This is a good method to, like I mentioned before, a, get your first affiliate commissions or, or B, use as proof to show to prospective clients that you can actually rank stuff and also showing that you're willing to provide some value without anything in exchange. That speaks volumes to that prospective client. And then when you offer them the services for SEO or paid traffic or web design or whatever, you say that we're able to do this for you for free. It'll probably get you a couple clients through the year or the next couple months or something of the like. Imagine what we can get you when you actually sign on for us to do SEO for you or paid traffic management or web design or email marketing management any of the whole host of services that my agency offers and that hopefully your agency offers as well. So anyways, that is the gist of this method. It is pretty dang simple. Again, it's really about just churning out numbers. If you are using this as your sole source to generate some revenue for affiliate marketing when it comes to pay per call campaigns, this is something that you can definitely get started with. And then when you have some money, either you get paid from your job or whatever, then go get your website up and running, get your domain and then get your hosting and then buy a premium theme. I prefer three themes, but there are a bunch of other videos on that. I will link to them below or somewhere here on the screen. So that is my method in a nutshell for creating your first assets online. Hopefully you got some good value out of this. If you have any questions on the process of doing the actual live stream, I know that the software with Wirecast can be kind of tricky to set up right away. Be sure to leave a comment down below. I try to respond to every single comment that comes through. So with that being said, my name is Matt Wasik. Thanks for checking out my channel and I will see you in the next one.